First of all, on behalf of the Village of Spring Grove and the Village Board, I would like to thank everybody for coming out today. Um, what a beautiful park. Uh, many of you uh, were here uh, four years ago, uh, when we first, five years ago, basically, when we first took possession. And, uh, and, and, and it's fun to hear all the stories about the past and what we've done. So today, first off, what I would like to do is, is um, I want to introduce our team, because uh, these guys, our village board, was one of the most important part of this thing being accomplished, because without their support, we, don't, we wouldn't be able to do this. So, first of all, I'd like to introduce our team, Trustee Del Houghton, <laughs> Trustee Bob McMahon, also our park chairman, Trustee Mike Lee, Trustee Pat Mazzani, and uh, Bob Martins, we like to join us too. Uh, and Trustee Ron Kopke, who was President Bob Martins uh, in 2005, was one of the person, this is how it all started, and I'll get to this in my speech. Um, and I also have uh, State Senator Pam Eltoff. Pamela. So if you listen, you're going to hear a little bit of the history and uh, how we started, how this how this started, and how we got to where we are today. Um, it's the beginning, the beginning of a landmark. In 1914, what was nothing but a peat bog was transformed by the Illinois Department of Conservation into the Spring Grove Fish Hatchery. This location was ideal because of its natural supply of pure spring water and its proximity to the nearby lakes. It has been reported that the springs alone can produce up to 300,000 gallons of fresh spring water a day, hence Spring Grove. That's why we're called Spring Grove, all the springs. As you would walk around, you'll notice wellheads in front of the hatchery building. This particular wellhead is over here and its output is going into that pond. This particular little pond over here has water running out of it. These are artesian wells. There's also a big well over here that runs into the Nippers thing. These wells, they're not powered by a motor. It's just pressure, the water coming right out of the ground. So that's one reason why it was put here. These springs feed the ponds and also supply the fresh cold water into the hatchery building to produce the fingerlings, the baby fish. In its peak, the Spring Grove Hatchery spawned more than 35 million fingerlings per year. To the delight of the regional sportsmen, these fish, bluegills, largemouth bass, rainbow trout, walleye, northern pike, and catfish among them were eventually stocked in the lakes, the rivers, and ponds throughout northern Illinois. The whole operation was a tremendous success. This operation was funded completely by fishing license fees and not tax dollars. Thomas McCaffrey was the hatchery's first superintendent, spending a lifetime in the capacity from 1914 to 1960. That's 56 years he lived upstairs in this building. Under his direction, Spring Grove became not only home to the nation's premier facility for the reproduction of game fish, but also the largest in the United States. It's a, become a beautiful landscape and maintained park as well. So many people from the city of Chicago and all the nearby places came out here in the summertime and in the wintertime to utilize this as not only as a hatchery but as a park. The park was open seven days a week and people traveled from all over to enjoy the beauty. Some of you remember the many days you spent here walking and ice skating on the ponds in the winter. Many of you may remember the class trip you took to watch the process of milking the fish and hatching of the fingerlings. You will hear many stories about the past. Now it's time to make memories for the future. In 2004, the Spring Grove Hatchery fell to the acts of Governor Rod B. Everybody knows Governor. The hatchery, in much need for, for repair, was decommissioned and left in disrepair. In 2005, Spring Grove Village President Bob Martins and State Representative Jack Franks worked together on transferring the hatchery over to the village. With the help of Senator Pam Eltoff, she's here today, Representative Franks co-sponsored a bill to transfer the ownership of the hatchery. The bill received overwhelming support, and the governor signed the bill in 2006. This is where the fun begins. 